Mean time between failure is the average time between system breakdowns and how you calculate it is the number of operational hours divided by the number of failures and the result will be in hours. So for example, if a machine has been operating for a thousand hours in a year over the course of that year, then the asset, the machine, broke down eight times. Therefore, a mean time between failure for the piece of equipment is 125 hours. So why do we care? Why, why, do, why, why do we want to know this? Why do we want to know the mean time between failures of a piece of equipment? Well, the reason uh, we do is, for example, is because of maintenance. And to ensure that we have an effective maintenance program in place, you need to know the likelihood of when your equipment is going to break down. So you don't want to be chasing issues because what happens then? Well, your lines go down, you have, you, you have problems where you can't meet your customer uh, orders because equipment has broken down uh, without any uh, uh, unplanned events have occurred. You didn't think it had stopped during a shift and it did the piece of equipment. Um, therefore, you have to bring min maintenance people in to have a look at it. But the whole idea is that you would have a preventative maintenance program in place in a company. So instead of waiting for the, the equipment to break down, you would be maintaining that equipment before anything goes wrong. And calculating the mean time between failure for a piece of machinery um, helps you have a very effective maintenance program. But it's a mean time between failure is very important metric in a preventative, uh, preventative maintenance program. Um, and it's used to help plan scheduled maintenance. So in other words, because you know when equipment is likely to break down, you build a build that into your maintenance schedule. Um, it also uh, ensures that you have a very tight preventive maintenance schedule and that you know you are maximizing uh, your technicians. So they're working on the right equipment at the right time. It's also beneficial because it ensures that you keep your stocks of spare parts low. So you don't want to be holding lots and lots of spare parts in your warehouse for when you might do maintenance. You want to keep those stocks low because carrying inventory costs money. So by having knowing your mean time between failure for your different pieces of equipment, that will ensure that you only have the spare parts in-house when you need them, not beforehand.